Hello there, welcome to PCA St. Ninian's Church, boldly proclaiming Christ. This is your channel of hope. Yes, the word of God and does something else. Let's see verse 26. But anyone who hears these words of mine, the words of God, and does not obey them, you know hearing is not enough. If you hear and you don't obey, they are reckoned like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain poured. The rivers overflowed. And the wind blew hard against the house. And it fell. Wakati when you the same materials, when you put the same cement, what when you put on the Maya, you know, you put on the what not the Maya. Hey, look at what this guy is building. It looks so beautiful. What about the paint? What about the tiles? At our way, what about the people who are not from Bali? No, people who are from Bali are not from Bali. Like in the way of Bali, the Bali, it is going to be a good thing. So when the hard times came, it fell. And I'm sorry to say this. This is what the Bible says. And what a terrible fall that was. When you hear the word of God and you don't obey it, what a terrible fall it will be for you. So those three things guide me in my reading and understanding the heart of God. And I want you to think about them as we proceed. Now, faith. What is faith? And the Bible talks about faith from Hebrews 11. And I want you to go home and read what I call it. You read Hebrews 11. Because there's something so important about faith that you need to know. Actually, possibly I didn't know it until I started reading about faith so much. If you look at our God to worship, it says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God. You know when the Bible says it is impossible, we need to take heart and think about it. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. I was a cunning. I was a cunning. I will pray the same way. Without faith, come on, it is impossible to please God. You can do a lot of things, but if you don't have faith in God, it is impossible. Some will say, how do you know? But one of the examples of faith, there are two brothers, Cain and Abel. Cain was the elder brother, and Abel was the younger brother. And both of them took their sacrifices to God. I want you to imagine Cain brought his sacrifices here, and his younger brother brought his sacrifices also there. And from those two sacrifices, I'm sorry to say, God did not accept Cain's offering. What were we doing with the letter? do you with the letter? You know, at times we can add words. Like in what we know about the letter, what is the letter mean? Like in what about the letter? Ya kaini haikuchukuliwa Mungu haikuchukuliwa Apple alipokea So you can always ask yourselves kwa nini hakupokea ya kaini kwa nini But the answer and I've been thinking now it is almost illustrated here is because Kain did not bring his offering with faith He did not believe in God he did not have faith in God. So it is impossible, my brothers and sisters, to please God without faith. So every time you are doing whatever you are doing, even when you are bringing your offerings here, if you have no faith with God, it will not please Him. So this is our court worship. And it says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who understand seek him. So what is faith? Let's go back to that one. Faith is 
defined in Hebrews 11, verse 1 and 2. And it says, faith is to be sure of things we hope for and to be certain of things we cannot see. When you have faith, you do not see the results. But you believe in the results. You don't see things so that you have faith. Like Thomas, who was a disciple of Jesus, when he was told that Jesus Christ has resurrected, what did he say? He said, I cannot believe it. I cannot until I see his heart and actually touch his heart and see that they are the hearts of Jesus. Did he have faith in Jesus? Did he? Did he? No, he didn't have. And Jesus, when Jesus was teaching his disciples, he kept talking about people of no faith, people of little faith, and Thomas was there. At the same time, when he said, "I'm going to I'm going to Na kwa ni Yesu wakati aliwa wa nakania aliambia Thomas come touch feel because you don't have faith so faith is believing in God even on things that you have not seen so how do you get faith I know I've not explained you what faith is so well but ata wewe enda utafute kwa vizuri unaweza kupata hoke speed vizuri but how do we get faith now? How do we get faith? How do we get faith comes from the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. Romans 10, verse 17 says, So then, faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith always starts by hearing. And hearing the word of God. And for me, I have a three-step formula for faith. This is the formula for the metafuta about the idea of idea. When I was young, 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 formula. Formula means, I was young, 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 because the people are going to to So I always look for a formula which can help me understand and apply something. So the formula of Getting an applied faith, it is three things. Get your answer is to hear the word of God. So, so, la simple uski and then rabwana. Whether kwa muhubiri, whether kwa kuchisomea, whether kwa uchaba we. You must hear the word of God. Jako rapini, la simple uamini. You must believe the word of God. You must amini. Where is you must act as by the word of God. I want to give you an example of Naman. Naman, who was a general in the army, but he had he had lived to say, heard from their maid, Mustiano Wakazi. Yakopa Kuna Kunae, a prophet in Israel, a boy at Mpony, or you are a skier. A rafa Kamini, some hey, come on the query, you don't need a Arafa Kaed. Those three things he had. He went, you know, he believed and he went. And then when he went there, he found Elisha. And you can read that story uh, later 
in 2 Kings 5 to 5 to 15 wakati nienda kwa Elisha Elisha hata kutoka kwa nyumba ah Elisha alisema eh huyo ni Naaman eh sawa sawa wewe Naaman enda kwa mto Jordan ujitukukisa mara saba na ukisha jitukukisa utatoka kama umepona so he had but did he believe immediately no he didn't believe i said how how we have even better rivers in our place and this things about seven times what is it na kapeperezwa na wale walikuwa nayo akamwambia hey kama ukiapo kwaje kitu kubwa si ukafanya so akaamini so akipeleka kwa mto alikuwa anaamini alafu he was not dipped seven times you know at times we are quite impatient like we are very impatient so nikitukia mara kwanza natoka na ule pale niko mgojwa mara ya pili now this is why you now act as the word of god says sasa unafanya kama vile neno la mungu lile linasema kama ni hapo utukukiza mara saba wewe tukukia mara saba and on the last Like the, and his body was like that one of a, a baby. Why? He did those three things. He had the work, he believed it, and he had it. And other people are going to order for Biblia. Why do you find him? I'll give you another example. Ambao, to me, I'm going to Biblia. Noah Noah and you are to ambao it is very very difficult for any one of us to believe kuna vitu mingi sana uweze kuamini you know god came to noah and told him noah is going to live and i'm going to finish the whole world na utanyesha mvua ambao itajasa dunia nzima na maji kwa hivyo wewe ndio uokoke Jenga eh uh, the ark sabina build a ark for yourself and then god gave him measurements vile ta jenga huko kwa ngo no akusoma biblia it was not near the sea it was actually 100 kilometers from the sea so nikapo sasa mimi apo naishi eh nordista mtu aliambia kutajesha mkua apo tafurika kila pahali Kwa hivyo mimi ni jenge an ark ama a boat a boat in your call. I don't know about you but I know myself. Sitaamini haraka sana. Wewe unaweza kutaamini but me I'll question a lot. And this is where now faith comes in. No I believed God. He had God and he believed God. Aliamua kweli kama Mungu amesema itatendeka. And then he started building the ark. How long did it take to build the ark? 120 years. So, the first day I was here, na kamini, na kaanza kazi kujeka, kujeka the ark. So he must have cut the first tree. Na kwa kata mtu ya kwanza, watu kamulisa, hey, Noah, what are you doing? Wapi unajua Mungu amenielezea kutakuwa ni mkubwa kubwa sana? Kwa hivyo nataka kujenga ark ambayo itakuokoa. Eh, mbua. So, akajenga akakata miti, akaanza kujenga na akaendelea until he finished. And when he finished at the 120 years, mkubwa ikaanza kunyesha. Na hiyo ndio ilimuokoa. Wewe mwenyewe kuna kitu Mungu amekuongeresha kwa maisha yako. Na amesema wewe fanye kitu fulani do something even for your own self even that can save your family something that can even save the church and you are saying it is not possible how can it be how can i me be able to save the church how you have not faith in god but if you are faith in god you will start doing it it will take a little bit long it might take one year or two years or three years but if you believe what God says, it 
to happen. And that is where faith comes from. And because of time, I will not be able to talk about all the people who are mentioned in the Bible about faith. In Hebrews 11, if you read the people who have been mentioned about faith, people who had faith in God, there's Abel, there's Enoch, there's Noah, there's Abraham, there's Sarah. Sarah, sikumbaja nikipata na pasi, itakuja tunge kusu the faith of Sarah. Sarah had faith, alikuwa mezeka. She was old, be old getting a child. Lakini wakati alisikia neno la Bwana na akaamini mwili wake ulikuwa kama mstari. And she was able to give birth. So one day ikipata na pasi, I'll talk about Sarah. Then there was Isaac, there was Jacob, there was Joseph, there was Moses parents. Was that who Moses? They had faith. What's the means to make a part of us to get us? Was that who Moses? You know, during that time, all the kids were being killed. But the parents of Moses, when they born Moses, they saw him as a beautiful child. And they said, who you? We had our river. So they made a small basket. Now come wake up while you are And it's a good story. And you see how faith works. So one day, once again, I'll talk about that one. Then there's Moses. There's Lahab. Who was Lahab? She was her. Eh? What is her title? She was a, <laughs> she was a prostitute. Once again, you know how if you read her story, you'll be shocked what God can do with anybody, even you and me. That Laha, through faith, she later saved herself. She was married, and the man who married him, the man who married the prostitute, they bore a child called Boaz, and Boaz was the father of Jesse, and Jesse was the father of David. Now, this is Rahab. So, give Rahab a break. She had faith. Then there's Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and other poets, and many others. Not only those who are written in the Bible, even you, I believe in your life, you have exercised faith. So, although you are not written here, don't worry. There's a verse in the Bible which consoles me. Even if I'm not written in the Bible, it says this. It is John 21, verse 25. It says this. Now, there are many things that Jesus did. Jesus did. If they were all written down one by one, I suppose that the whole world would could not hold books that would be written. So my prayer is to Rifanya, although to me it is not going to be very Rifanya, like the yote kiyadri kiyakiriwa, it cannot fit the world. So when you hear, I think about faith, the Bible says that, and the Hebrew says that he is not able to write about all people who exercised faith, and that's why you and me comes in. Because every day I hope you are exercising faith. Now to finish, I want you when you go home once again, after you have learned Hebrews 11, it will help you in life. Also read about faith in the Bible, where Jesus talked about faith. And these days, the forms are so good. Because you can search the word faith. Then you search faith in Matthew. And you'll be shocked about what Jesus talked about faith. He talks about people who had no faith. Some of his disciples they didn't have faith. He talks about people who had little faith. Little faith came to Peter. Peter was taught to walk on the water. He walked on the water. And then he started fearing. He started going down. And then Jesus took him and asked him, Peter, O oh, ye of little faith. Little faith is in Zuri, Utazama. Then people of normal faith. But there are also instances where Jesus talked about 
great faith. Now we didn't tell that. There was a spirit. Your word can create. And this morning I'm praying that your word is going to create in us a new life. It's going to create in us a new self. That we are going to have faith in you. Because you are a true God. What you have said, it is true. And it will come to pass. The promises that you have promised us, you come to pass. Yes, Jesus, we know, one time we went to Nazareth, and the people there, they didn't have faith. And in that village, you only healed a few because they didn't have faith. I pray God that this morning, you will find us having faith in you. And you will say to us, Oh, you of good faith. May God bless you all. And let us trust in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I heard a song, but it's now a little bit late. So next time we'll sing you that song. It's called The Goodness of God. Because God is really good. God is taking care of you. God is thinking about you. Lakini, lafikisako naza kwa mekusahau, lakini mungu wanakuwaza, na anakuwaza mema. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this service. We hope that you have been blessed. Keep connected with us through our various online platforms. That is Facebook at PCS and Ninians Livestream and YouTube at PCS and Ninians.